23 folks. I'm stoked about doing this one. This is going to change your guitar playing forever. Yep. I did say forever and ever. Amen. Don't matter what kind of music you play, it's going to change things. And it's all about playing an A chord shape. Don't matter where you play it. If it's an A, if it's a B, C, D, E, F, or G, go back to A. What we're going to do is actually get our 1, 4, and 5 chords out of all of these by making one cool little adjustment. Okay, the 1, 4, and the 5 are going to be the... Are made out of. <laughs> so uh, it'll be like this. Here's an A. I'm going to add just a couple, two fingers to it. Now that's a four. Now I'm going to add the five. Here's the same stuff that makes people go. It's all played with that stuff. And this is how you do it. So let's get into the 1, 4, 5 played with alternate chords. Okay? This is very cool. Pay attention to every little bit because it's so easy, but so stupidly effective that you're going to use it on so much stuff, especially if you're playing along with another buddy that's doing just playing regular chords, you get to play this and it just changes everything up. Okay, so in the key of A, since it's going to be normal, the thing that's going to change is you're actually going to add your first, or your middle finger, I'm sorry, to your third fret on the B string and then your other one is going to be on the D string fourth fret. Okay, so you have this. So it went from an A to the four chord, which is a D. So A to the four. And the five chord we just move it forward two frets, like always. Four. Back to one. Okay? So, that can be... stuff it could be okay See. okay so all this stuff if I was all the way up here to F okay so we know it's F because I'm playing there's G back to fetch is F Brothers comes in. Okay, so let's take it up to C, which is a fifth fret. Just play that same A shape again. I like adding my pinky up here on the other C, or the C and the B. And then going to the four. Now what 
is cool is you're only missing one note, which is this. Okay? You can add it anytime you want a bigger chord. Okay, so now you have a C shape with a capo. <laughs> okay, but that's your four chord. Think of that. When you put it down here, all you gotta do is put your pinky down at any time and make a C chord out of it. But it's actually still the four chord. We're in C here. This changes it to F. Even though you're playing a C chord, it's F and then you're five. if you want. Okay, so there it is. C with the pinky added for two frets barring it. Not clear on my end. <laughs> Sorry. You know that's the five because it's just up from there. And that's going to be a G. So we got C, F, and G. Okay? The other cool way to do it so it doesn't sound so tinkly, which is cool, you know, if somebody else is playing the chords, but if you want to fill it up, remember you have the F shape as well. Works really good here. So you have the F. Just move it up two frets to the G. So we C, F, and G. Back to F back to C or G like this. Works really well. Check it out. So there's the 1, C, going to the 4, the F. Back to C. To the F shape, G. There I just really uh, concentrated on the B string, went to make a seventh, so I made a six by putting the pinky on directly below your ring finger, so on the fifth fret, then up one more fret, made a seventh. cool. Um, a lot of you don't know this, but it's very cool. Okay, so here we are in C, doing our same, just tinkling. Okay, so we went to a seventh, because there's C, go back two frets, and you got the seventh. And then we go to your four chord. Move that ring finger back one, and it sounds cool, don't it? So I'm going to use the sevenths, and then that little trick, and then a quick one again, and then a five. Okay, so that's this. Backward. Now G string. That is very cool. So check out what's going on. Actually, what you're doing is making a minor, so your third, right there, is actually flattened to F minor. So the th then back to your C, then
There's a very cool pinky. Some cool ideas there. I really like those. And again, um, lots of cool stuff. Uh, let's go to the key of D. Same thing. These are just very cool and they make you think. So now we're going to think of all the stuff. We're going to be able to play chords all over the neck. Okay, with this lesson and a couple other ones that I have up my sleeve. Then you can play anywhere and get any chord you want but different voicings of them. So you get your D up here, but back to home plate down here, because you can play all the way Seventh fret in the A position. We can always add, skip two frets and add the uh, two guys up here if we want to. But what we're thinking of again, your one chord, your four chord, your five chord, four and five, whatever you want to do, okay, is what we're looking at. I just want you to realize where these chords are at, okay, because here in D, we got D, G, and A. Um, you should be pretty well on your way to realizing how these chords work. So D. Up. But now you know you can use that F shape for your 5 or your 4. But here's the 1, 4, 5. Or now that we have the whole neck covered. did it all kinds of places. Because we use the D or the A shape, this shape, we used F shape, F shape, and back to D. Lucky I keep another pick right there. <laughs> okay, so work on those and make them into things. Do your um, scale. Okay, forward. If you do it backward, again, um, joy to the world. We'll try not to make it sound Christmassy. We did this like on the second lesson or something, but you can pick and choose from those. everywhere and use the F shapes. Okay, one, four, and five. Let's go to something weird like B. <laughs> okay, A, B. Because you can't normally play in those keys unless you have a capo, you think. But I'm going to show you all the ways to play without a capo because you don't need one unless you just 
want to use one. So here we are in B. And then the next chord. just this and you don't want to hit the E string because it's not part of anything that's why we're doing these but if you want to you got to take that last note and bring it back one so you got to make an A chord like this and put your pinky I'm sorry your first finger one fret back so to the third fret or just one fret back from wherever you're at from here and learn to make an A chord or an A shape real quick with everything else you got and put that pinky down there behind everything so you got okay it's amazing that it's only one note different than that B isn't it very very cool So I just call it, instead of augmented or anything, I just call it my aug rotten chords. So it's just... But you always wanted to learn that? I know you did. Nobody can ever figure that out, but it's just that simple. And then it's right back to this. Amazing what one note can change, huh? What note is that? That's a G. So I could go... same does it so that does I just simply left open the G string is what I was doing don't sound right all right so there you go you get all that stuff but okay again life changer that was number 22. In case of case, I'm here on the top 25 countdown. Okay, so that's awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm going to show you another way to get a few more chords progressions using other chord shapes coming up here on number 24. Okay, so you know what's coming up next. All right, catch you there. <laughs>